Now, in this video, we're going to answer the following question. Find the nth term of the quadratic sequence in the form a n squared plus b n plus c. And we've been given the sequence 4, 8, 13, 19, 26, and so on. If you find this video useful, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and subscribing to our channel for more content like this. A quadratic sequence is a sequence of numbers where the differences between the terms are not constant. In other words, there is no common difference. But the differences of those differences, called the second differences, is constant. The general form of the nth term of a quadratic sequence is a n squared plus b n plus c, where a, b and c are constants that we need to find. Let's start by finding a. The second difference, if a constant value, tells us that a sequence is quadratic but also helps us find a, the coefficient of n squared. Writing down the terms of the sequence, we have 4, 8, 13, 19 and 26. The differences between successive terms are 4, 5, 6 and 7. And the second differences are 1, 1 and 1. The coefficient of n squared is found by dividing the second difference by 2, which gives us a half. So the value of a is a half, or 0 0.5. Now we need to find the values of b and c. If we substitute n equals 1 and a equals 0 0.5, which we've just found, into the general form a n squared plus b n plus c, we get 0 0.5 plus b plus c and given that the first term of our sequence is 4, we can make that expression equal to 4. If we substitute n equals 2 and a equals 0 0.5 into the general form a n squared plus b n plus c, we get 4 multiplied by 0 0.5 plus 2b plus c, which simplified is 2 plus 2b plus c. And given that the second term of the sequence is 8, we can make that expression equal to 8. So now we have two equations which we can solve simultaneously. 0 0.5 plus b plus c equals 4 and 2 plus 2b plus c equals 8. Subtracting the first equation from the second gives us 1.5 plus b equals 4. This gives us a value of b equal to 2.5. Substituting b equals 2.5 into the second equation gives us 2 plus 2 multiplied by 2.5 plus c equals 8, which simplifies to give us 7 plus c equals 8. Hence the value of c is equal to 1. 
So that gives us an nth term rule of 0 0.5 n squared plus 2.5 n plus 1. A good skill at this point is to substitute other values of n into that expression and check that we get the third and fourth terms correct. So the answer to this question is 0 0.5 n squared plus 2.5 n plus 1. If you found this video useful, please consider leaving a like, a comment and subscribing to our channel. Thank you.